Well, come back to another beautiful day on the island. So I guess uh, when we left off, I was getting frustrated with these two bridges that I think I'm gonna have to complete at some point. And oopsie daisies. My earphones got caught on my mouse. Which hopefully you guys can't actually hear the sound of the witness playing through. You know what? Let me plug in my earphones really fast. Bleh. I am gonna forget to edit that out. Oh, welcome back to the island. So, uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about mental models. And what I mean by that is mental models for processes in the world around us, right? In the case of this game, we're often talking about mental models for puzzles. Um, mental models for, for instance, for the rules that um, that these things follow. So now I, uh, I rather obviously have some mental models in mind, right? Stars, you, you, um, said uh, yesterday, stars are monogamous, right? They, they want to be paired up. Um, and the squares are not. They basically... The squares are not monogamous, but they're racist. They want to be paired up only with things of their own color. They don't care how many of them you're pair they're paired up with. As long as there's nothing of another color paired up with them. But then we also learned some other things. If a star is paired up with another star, it's okay with being um, next to something of another color. And that square of the other color is also okay with being next to that star, right? Now, I had written in my mind this as a new rule, right? It's it's a nuance to this rule that that um, I'm tr sorry, the reason I'm running around is I'm trying to find an example of those puzzles and I, I know I missed them over here somewhere. Um, I think they were on this bridge and I just spent all that time running around. So, over here, right? These two stars, this square is okay being next to this star, but there were other places where we found that squares were not okay being next to stars, and I'm trying to find them now. Um, like over here, um, over here. Um, actually no, I'm trying to f f remember. Maybe squares are just okay with being next to stars, <laughs> and this whole mental models lecture thing that I'm uh, talking about right now is baseless. Okay, so what I was going to start to suggest is instead of having a nuance to this rule, why not rework my mental model? Maybe the actual rule is not just, is not stars are monogamous and they have to be paired up with something else. But the actual rule is that Stars can exist, and stars are annihilated by one other thing of that color. So does that does that make sense? Basically, it explains a lot of these other rules, these other nuances I had to develop without having to have them as nuances. The property that stars are okay being next to something of another color as long as they're paired up is explained by the fact that if you have two stars, they kind of annihilate each other, and then they don't care. Um, the fact that stars are uh, okay being next to stars of different colors um, is explained by the fact that this star is annihilated by this star, and this star is annihilated by this star. It doesn't exist. The star is annihilated by the star, the star is annihilated by the star. It doesn't exist. Um, and now I don't need all these extra rules anymore, because basically the only rule is that stars can't exist. And the only two rules are that stars can't exist, and they're annihilated by one other thing of the, uh, of the same color. 
so why did I want to talk about mental models? I think mental models are important for the way we understand the world, right? No matter what job you're doing, no matter what um, you are trying to accomplish, This puzzle is a lot easier than I thought it was. <laughs> Yesterday I got stuck on that one. No matter what you're trying to accomplish, no matter what you're studying, no matter what your job is, you have a mental model in your head for why that something works. Um, and dare I say, that extends to life in general. You have a mental model for how the world works. And sometimes we get caught up in the complexity of it all we start to say well geez I, I there's so many rules to remember and there's just so many things to keep track of so how is anyone supposed to keep track of something like that well um that's when that's when we start to revise our models like i did here there was there were a lot of rules to keep track of. Um, stars need to be paired up with one other object, right? Um, stars cannot be paired up. There's actually one rule that I'm thinking of right now that I had that isn't explained by my current model, so I'm going to go back there. Um, stars need to be paired, paired up with another star was one of the rules that I had. Um, but then I revised that later um, already to... A star of a color needs to be paired up with one other object of another color, right? Um, actually, honestly, hmm. I'm talking about this now and I'm suddenly realizing that I don't think my mental model actually needed that many revisions. So the rule that I was talking about right now that I said um, maybe this new rule, this new model of um, stars are annihilated by something of their same color, it doesn't explain this. You see that? This star is annihilated by this, right? And this star is annihilated by this. So according to the model I proposed, this should be a fine solution. But it's not. So the stars need to be paired up with one other thing of their same color. Um, and then they are annihilated. That might be a better model. So that's the rule. You can put stars next to anything as long as they're paired up with one other thing of their same color. But if you put more than one other thing of the same color. Uh, they don't like that. And uh, what's the other rule we had in mind? Oh right, my, my thing was uh, stars don't exist. That was the first rule and the second rule was you have to put them next to something of the stars don't exist, and the way you make them not exist is by pairing them up with exactly one thing of the same color. Does that sound reasonable? I think that sounds reasonable to me. Whew. Speaking of which, there were... There are not just mental models for the rules you have to follow, or the rules something follows. There are mental models for the way you solve things, and I'm sure you know that if you've ever done a job, that's that's why they train you in doing that job, right, is to give you a prescription for this is how you accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. Um, so now I had a mental model for solving these star-only puzzles in general, um, which I don't think I've talked a lot about, um, but it's useful to develop mental models like that and figure out how to think about things, right? At every turn I make from the start, I need to make sure that I have the potential to cordon off a pair of each color on each side of the path. Um, basically, if at any point I've isolated just one of these, 
I've failed. That is not a valid solution. I, I don't know if I'm stating that clearly. Um, I hope I'm stating that clearly. Regardless, that leads to some helpful things that you can do. I'm not really thinking about it right now, um, which is frustrating. I, I, I had this internalized the first video I, I ran across these stars. I'm like, I, I understood exactly how to think about these. And I lost it for some reason. One of the drawbacks of not putting something into words um, appropriately. Have you ever noticed that? That it's harder to remember things that you haven't put into words. It's kind of a shame, honestly. It might just be me, but my memory does not work well for things that I can't put into words or I can't put down like this. My memory for concepts is not good unless I just drill them into my head over and over again. It's kind of shame, honestly. I need to split all of these up. How do I split all of these up? See, I've already failed, because there's no way to split up, like, these from any of the other ones. So, I'm still thinking about this the wrong way. I didn't actually want to draw, I wanted to think. I need to divide this into regions. Essentially two regions. So let's just start with that. And that's not a good solution because... I gotta cordon off all of these. So how about this? That's almost there. Um, but not quite. Oh, hmm. Right, that doesn't quite work. I was going for symmetry there. Okay, let's go back to this solution. Why doesn't that work? This doesn't have anything to be paired with. So let's bring this up here. That's already a problem. Sorry, I'm, uh, modifying what I started with. That's good for the purples, bad for the oranges. So let's try to leave the same purples isolated with the same purples. Mm. 
No, that's no good, right? But this, on the other hand... Is almost there? Again, good for the purples, bad for the oranges. How do I split these up? Uh, screwing up the purples. Oh. That wasn't so bad, was it? I need to solve this without dividing up any of them. But that's not possible. So, let's put the green and the oranges together and the two purples together. Oh my. Yes? Right. You son of a gun. Two purples need to be divided up. on a second. This looks like it's got options that I'm not seeing. Problem with this is that I have to divide up the two greens, so let's do that. Fascinating. So there is another, there have been other puzzles, like that one, this bridge over there. I feel like it had a puzzle in the middle that gave me options, but I don't remember seeing a gate off to the side like that before. Hmm. Well, regardless, I think I can just jump off without solving the last puzzle. Ha. But I could never live with myself if I did something like that. Oh my. That wasn't that bad. Ooh, what's this now? Oh, that's the, the main bridge that would take me back to the castle. The one that I was like, well, crap, I can't open this. I think there might be other puzzles. Okay, you see this right here? How do I bring a bridge here? So there, there's other puzzles here with multiple endings, aren't there? That I missed somehow. Okay, this... I love how... I love how there's different dimensions that are added to this game. But the other solution closes it. Yep. Neat. That is such a nice touch. I wonder why you'd need to close it. That's a good question, isn't it? 
Now I can finally get here from uh, from here without having to take the boat. Oh, uh, I think I'm already nearing the end of my allotted time for this, aren't I? Ah, here we are. Here's another puzzle with uh, alternate solutions of some kind here. Except I don't want to go that way, I want to go that way. So let's go that way. Oh my gosh, you guys, this, <laughs> this game is so fun. Oh, it's gonna unfold that way, so I'm gonna have to fix that. That is so sick. Okay, so I know I saw the puzzle over there that had multiple solutions. I will come back to that actually as soon as I fix this, but this doesn't actually seem to lead anywhere. Unfortunately. I kinda wanna solve it just for solving's sake. I don't think I came up with a way to solve this yet, actually. Can put that there. Horizontal 3, vertical 3, and the L piece. The problem is I can't cut two pieces out. Or can I? Horizontal 3, vertical 3, and the L piece. Horizontal three, vertical three, and the L piece. Oh. That wasn't so bad. <gasps> no flipping way. I hate these puzzles so much. Okay, it's gonna make me think. Can I reach this yet? No, I cannot. Okay. All right. I have two L pieces, which I can rotate any way I want. And then I have this that I have to somehow delete that shape from one of the L pieces. So I'm going to just put this L piece here. Ugh. It's bending my mind, man. And then remove those three, and then put this L piece here. But then I can't enclose that L piece, and the entire thing falls apart. Did I screw that up? Yeah, I was thinking of the wrong L piece, wrong shape of L piece. I want to go back and do that bridge, but I want to force myself to do this first, because I remember having trouble with this kind of puzzle, and if it shows up again, I'm going to have trouble with it again. Just, just, these blue negative tetrominoes are difficult for me. Okay? Okay, so... What shapes can I make with these two on this guy? Um, I can put that there, that there, and then delete this, and then I get this funky wiggle shape, which is not that useful, because... Oh wait, hold on. I get a funky wiggle shape like that, which is not that useful because I, um, I can't enclose all three of these in that. I can't put that shape anywhere. What other shapes can we make? Um, I can put that guy there, that guy there, and then like delete these three or something. That doesn't work because it immediately removes things. Okay, it immediately breaks up the region into two regions, and you can't enclose all three of those in the region if it's broken up into three regions. So that guy there, that guy there doesn't work. Let's put them away from each other like that, uh, that's not going to help. 
Oh, on the other hand, I can make them into a square. I can put them like this, and then like this, and then delete three of them here, and then I just get this big ol' L. That's the solution. Okay. That's probably one of... There might be other solutions to that, but I don't want to force myself to think that. Think through that again. Oh god. I can just hop off here. Oh, there's two arrows now. Does that mean I get double the pain for... Okay, so double arrow means I have to go on that side, and a single arrow means that I can't go on that side. This puzzle... Legitimately, I just have to fit the tetrominoes together without... put that one there, right, this one, here, and then let's put this one here, I can't put that one there because then there's a hole in the middle, so let's again put that one there, this one here, this one here, this one there, that one there, and then that one right there. So the sh full shape is around this, then that. I've already lost, haven't I? No, I haven't. I'm good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go back to that bridge with the options. I love bridges with options, don't you? What is this? What is this? Okay, there's more mysteries to this that I just didn't get because I didn't notice that these bridges can unfold in multiple directions. That's the real secret, isn't it? Okay. Something over here that had multiple possible solutions. Here we are. I was like, this puzzle's so easy, why would you even make me do it? What did I do? I just went like this, right? Zigzagged all the way up and did that. How silly of me. A foolishly naive. Did I do that right? I totally didn't. have to do that. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to do that too. But after all said and done, I can come back and fudge. Fudge! gotta be able to get here. Or there's just no point. Because I need to be able to stand there.
Oh, that'll work. It won't? Um, so the mistake I'm making here is not walling off this guy, so let's fudge. I was trying to remember that shape before I forgot it. bridge back around this way. <laughs> well. I I love this game, this game is really well done. It's not it didn't end up just being about solving puzzles. He introduced this concept of puzzles having multiple solutions and oh by the way Depending on how you solve the puzzle, the big puzzle of turning on the lasers. That's actually the goal. It's not just to solve the puzzle. You gotta actually, you know, turn on these lasers. That is... that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This is now easy. I'm just gonna walk over there. Oh man. Oh, oh man. I'm so stressed out right now. I think that's the laser. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. That's good. That feels, that feels good. That's satisfying. That is very satisfying. I should figure out how to get over to that house. Um, oh! Oh, I know how to get over there because I just pulled that bridge over that way. <sighs> Alright, let's just take a screenshot of that for the, uh, the old thumbnail. <laughs> and... Let's mirror this solution. Did I just forget how to solve this? I think I just forgot how to solve this puzzle. You know, there's multiple ways to solve this, actually. I think. See, did I screw that up? I totally did screw that up. There aren't multiple ways to solve this, and I don't make sense. Is, there must be a way to solve that. You see this bridge? You see this bridge? It's too flipping long. Does that look like it's the right distance to make it over there? I'll bet standing up there is how you get this puzzle. I, I just, I have to do it now. Oh my god, there's another shadow over there that works. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's... Let's pop. 
ponder ponder this for a moment. Um, It doesn't work. Man. Oh, I got the laser, but I can't. I can't. I come, come on. I can. I can make this work. Right. Let's start from this end and just try to make it over back there. can cut this off like that and then come back around like that. Oh, that does it, doesn't it? So cut this off like that, come back around like that, come back around like that. Wait, cut this, cut this off like that. Come back around like that. off like that, come back around like that, go over this way. I'm already screwed because I have no way of isolating this one from this one. I spent way more time on this than I was supposed to allot myself. Story of my life. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call it right here. <laughs> it's it's been uh, a reasonably productive day in and outside of this game. I hope uh, whatever you did with your day, you feel similarly productive. Take it easy, you lovable nerds.